In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can start a blog in the next 10 minutes. This is going to be at the tech side, so I'm going to show you exactly where you need to click to set up your new hosting, your domain and your WordPress blog with Bluehost. Now, my name is Katie. I'm a full-time blogger. I've set up dozens of blogs and this is my exact step-by-step -step process that I recommend to beginners to set up their blog and then continue on their blogging journey to starting a blog and turning it into a full time business. Now, if you want a more chatty video where I give you my best blogging tips for beginners and my process of setting up a blog, then watch this video here. I'm going to walk you through all of that. But today I really want to keep it short and I'm going to show you how to start a blog with Bluehost right now. It's going to be simple, quick and super cheap. So let's do this right now. Okay, so let's do this. I want you to go to whatskatieupto.com slash Bluehost. That's my affiliate link that will bring you to this page where you can start your blog today. Now I'm going to walk you through exactly where to click, what to do to get your blog set up in the next 15 minutes. So just do what I do and you will have your blog set up in no time. Now Bluehost, the website, they, it changes all the time. So if you are, for example, on a page that looks like this, you want to press the get started button here or the get started button here, but I tested it out. It should be basically the same process. So no matter on which side they are showing you, just follow exactly what I'm doing to set up your WordPress blog right now. Okay, to get started, press the button here, the get started now button that will lead you to select your hosting plan. Now in January, this is the best time to start your blog. Bluehost is offering amazing deals. So right now you can start a blog for $2.95 a month. Usually it is something between $3 and $5 a month. So you can see it's not that that much of a difference, but you can really get your hosting for as cheap as $2.95 a month. And you really don't need the extra stuff here. So I'm just going to select the $2.95 here. Now we need to create your domain. Your domain is your name, your URL of your blog. If you already have a domain purchased with like, for example, GoDaddy, you can enter that domain here right now, but we're going to create our new domain here. So after we do that, they will say if the domain is already taken, taken by someone else or if it's available. If it's not available, you will need to change that domain and come up with a new idea for your blog name. So enter your domain name here. So I'm going to call this blog Katie's new blog and I'm going to press next to see if the domain is available. You can see that the domain is owned by someone else. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and change that up. So we're going to do Katie's new test blog. And this is just a fake blog for me. So you want to come up with a really easy name here, something that is easy to remember and is good for your niche. So you can see that the domain Katie's new test blog.com is available. Great. So let's do this now. First of all, we're going to put in our account information. So this is information about you. We're just going to add that here. If you're in a different country, just switch that up like I am here. Okay. Once you're done with this, we're going to go to package information. Here in the package information, you can choose how long you want your hosting for. So you can see for 12 months or for 36 months. Now we're going to choose 12 months for 295. You can see that the SSL, this is like the security for your blog is currently free. So this is great. Also, this means that they're going to register your domain for you. So that's really amazing. So that's it from here. And let's move on to the next part here. Now here you can add package extras. Actually, you don't need any of those. So you, I'm just going to take those off here and I'm going to Turn it off and here. So we've got the domain privacy protection. We've got a uh, code guard. I honestly don't even know what that is. That is something new. We've got Yoast premium. We don't need that Yoast SEO plugin is good enough. You don't need the premium version. Site lock security and um, single domain SLS. These are things that helping to protect your blog against hackers or just like bots trying to get into your blog and kind of destroy it. Like if you feel like this is necessary, if you want it, I recommend the domain privacy. So this one as well as the SSL. But honestly, if you're just starting out, you really don't need this. So you can see that we are still at a total of 35, 40 for the year. So 
uh, let's move on here. And now we just need to add our credit card to finalize the payment. So let me just do that. And once you've entered your payment information here, you want to click here to agree to Bluehost's terms and then just press submit. Okay. And you can see that it says success. Next, let's create your account. And this is really the first big step. You've already got your domain and your hosting purchase. Like this is the beauty with Bluehost. They give you both of that in such a quick process. Okay. Next, we're going to create your password. So let's press on create your password. So we can see that our new domain is here, Katie's new test block, and we're just going to create a password now. And you want to write that password down because we will need it to log in to Bluehost later. So let's do that and agree to the terms and press create account. Okay, so now we've already set up our hosting, we've already set up our domain, and now we need to set up WordPress, that's your blogging platform. So we need Bluehost to host our blog and manage our domain. And then we have wordpress.org to manage our blog. So these are the two things. And you will see that in the future, you will spend so much time inside of WordPress and here Bluehost. Once you've done with this process, you basically don't need to do anything here. So you will in the future, you will most probably only use WordPress after this. So now let's create your website. So here we're going to go with no help needed and we are just gonna choose blog here on the left. If you want to give them information, you can do that, but I'm just gonna skip this step. And I'm also going to skip this other step. And then here you can choose a free theme that they're going to install. And you can just simply let it be one of those free themes for now. We're going to change that later and do this inside of WordPress. So I'm going to just switch to blog here. And then here are all the free themes that you can choose from. I like this one. So I'm just going to use this theme here, but really this is not important right now. You can change that later. Setting up the design of your theme will take some time. So for now, just get over the installation part right here. Okay, really great. This is basically it for the hosting and the main part. Now we just need to go inside of WordPress and start setting up our blog there. So you can press here into login to WordPress and you can see that we are now inside of WordPress. This is the back end of your blog that we just set up. If you click on the little house sign here, you're going to see the front end of your blog. And this is how your blog looks right now. So this is the theme that we chose. You can see that it's no images. It's just a little bit of um, design that we chose. You will be able to change this later on, but this is the front. And if we go back here into the dashboard, that's the back end of WordPress where you will do all of the work when it comes to blogging. Okay. Now one final step I want to talk about is that sometimes you need to go into your email and confirm certain things with Bluehost to verify that you're the owner of the new domain and the site. So if you go into your email, you want to check for emails from Bluehost. So you can see here, I got one from Bluehost about my domain. So we're going to verify that we are the owner of the email. And once you verify that you're the owner of that domain, if we go into that domain that we just purchased, so Katie's new test blog and hit enter, you can see that the coming soon page is live. Now, this won't happen until you verify you're the owner of that email. Now, this is the coming soon page. If we go back to Bluehost, you can see that you're currently in that mode so that you can work on the design of your blog before people see it. So you are really in no hurry to set this up. But like I mentioned in my previous video, I really recommend that you spend no more than a week designing your blog. So if we go into the front end, this is how this looks right now. If we go into the dashboard, you can go to appearance themes, and that's where you can either upload your own theme that you purchased from somewhere, or you can go through all the free themes and check them out. This is really cool. You can, can go into live previews and check out each of those themes and find one that you really love. I personally prefer paid themes. You can also get those people that programmed those themes to install the theme for you. You will save so much time. I will link to a couple of themes that I really love in the description of this video, but this is is really it. You've just set up your blog. I'm really proud of you. And once you're done designing your theme, you can set your blog to live so that people can actually see your work 
and see your blog. I have so many blogging videos and Pinterest videos on this channel. This is my tech tutorial on how to set it up. I really think that Bluehost makes this super easy and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I know you can do this. Now, what do you think? Wasn't that super easy? Now, if you followed me along and you did exactly what I did, your blog is set up the right way right now. I'm so proud of you. And if you haven't, you can find all the links to get started in the description below. I've also also added a free PDF guide and a free blog post that you can check out below with more in-depth information if you want to check that out too. Now this is really the best way to start a blog in my opinion. I've set up dozens of blogs this way and it's really super easy, quick and simple and I really love Bluehost for your hosting and WordPress as your blogging platform. You really want to get your blog set up, the technical side out of the way so you can start focusing on creating more content which is the most important thing when it comes to blogging. Now, I've got tons of videos about blogging, Pinterest, creating more traffic and monetizing your site so you can all find that for free on this channel right here. Now if you have any questions about your blog setup um, comment down below. I'm in the comments writing back to people so if you need any help I'm really here for you and again if you want more tips check out my previous videos. Now that's it from me for today for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it if you did click that subscribe button below and give the video a thumbs up it really means a lot to me and i will see you next week with a brand new video cheese